Today, I get to talk about one of the most iconic classic computers to ever come out, the Commodore 64. There was over 20,000 games released for it. I think about 10,000 commercial games, five to 10,000 commercial games. And you are gonna have your favorites, Boulder Dash, Maniac Mansion, Impossible Mission. There was so many games that came out for this classic computer that everybody's gonna have, you know, their, their positive memories. You know, I grew up with a Commodore 64. I didn't have one in my home, but I had friends that had them and I went to their house and played awesome games. We're not talking about any awesome games today. We're talking about the worst of the worst. Some of the worst games ever released on the Commodore 64. I did some research and I came up with five games that I think are some of the worst games released. Commercial releases, by the way. And you are going to see them and say, oh yeah, those are bad. So sit back, relax. You may want to grab some popcorn. Here we go. First up is Bionic Granny, released in 1984 from Mastertronic, and this was a C64 exclusive. It is nearly 4 o'clock, kids coming home from school, you're Bionic Granny, and you're waiting outside the school to hit the kids as they leave. Oh my gosh, it's this crazy premise, and you have to avoid the lollipop lady, and you're just going left and right. Or, and so uh, this is just a really, really silly premise of a game. And this is the game. Just going left and right, avoiding the lollipop lady as you hit kids coming home from school. Just weird, just a weird idea for a game. It is poorly executed and it can be very cheap. You can get hit very easily. Um, I am gonna get to level two. It's pretty challenging. Once it hits two, then it gets really intense. And so as it speeds up, and so this is one of the worst Commodore 64 games I've ever played. And I thought I'd keep the music at a volume that can annoy everybody because holy cow, that looping, irritating music just goes along with the frustrating gameplay. And so that is gonna grate on everybody. And I just thought I'd share that with you as you know, you're know you gonna hear it once and then it's gonna become that little earworm in your head that you cannot get out. While it probably gets an A for its title, it gets an F for execution and avoid this one as it is truly terrible in both music and gameplay. First, I'm actually going to show you a good game, Akari Warriors, published by Elite. Overseas, Elite released several amazing games, and this is a fantastic arcade port. It's got the intro. They did a wonderful job. This is a good game. This is not a bad game. This is a fantastic port of this timeless classic, and I really love what they did here. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I showing you this? because there's more than one version of this game. I wanted to show you what the Commodore 64 was capable of. This is a fantastic game. One of the best arcade ports actually on the classic computer. And I really love what Elite did here. This is a great game. I'd highly recommend it. And if you're gonna play Akari Warriors, play this version as it is truly superior to the next version that I'm gonna be showing you because Oh boy, it's bad. Now this is the version that we got here in the States, published by Data East, and it was done by Quicksilver Software, I do believe, for them. And oh boy, wow. Going from the Elite version to this, yuck. Oh my, this is really bad. And you know, is it playable? Kinda but really, really, really is rough around the edges. You know, going from such an amazing job that Elite did, considered one of the best on the classic computer, to this. The big issue too, on top of looking terrible and not playing great, is it's only a one player game. You know, Kari Warriors was an excellent two player co-op game. As the arcade was that way, uh, several versions are that way, including the Elite version, not this version. Uh, there's just lots of problems with this. The whole game is kind of broken in down into four parts. It's very limited in scope and it is completely inferior to the other version and a bad port 
of an excellent arcade game. Lee was a pretty good publisher for the Commodore 64, so when I heard about this title being published by them, I was like, what? And this is 911 Tiger Shark, and it was a promo with Dunlop tires, I guess, and this is a really, really bad racing game. You can drive through buildings. <laughs> the perspective is all messed up. Pretty good music, though. The music is pretty good with this title, but it is completely broken when it comes to the gameplay. You can just drive around everywhere. Uh, it's really kind of confusing on where to go and what to do. And so, you know, I, I keep getting hit by things. I guess you have to drive up and diagonal. Uh, I don't know. I tried playing this game over and over again. was rather confused on what to do. I never played it before. But if you go on several Commodore 64 forums and talk to people, this is up there as one of the worst release games. Very quick tie-in, cash-in, two, uh, two Dunlop tires, I do believe, and it was, was done quickly and just awful. Absolutely hate playing this game. Uh, you know, there's so many other great racing games on the Commodore 64. It's just terrible that this game was released. And for anybody getting this as a gift for a holiday or something, oh man, just really bad. One of the worst racing games that I've played and deserves to be on this list. Well, at least the name is cool. The Attack of the Phantom Karate Devils. That's a cool name. But that's where it stops. This was an early release in 1983. It has weird graphics, I do believe, in basic. And, you know, the control is pretty complicated. Uh, it has large character sprites, but it is just poorly executed. Even the final level glitched out without a, uh, a, a hack, a fix. You can't uh, play the, the final level in this game. And so it's just really weird. Uh, you know, it's an early karate game released and so you know some people are going to give it uh some some grace because it's an early release it's still a terrible game there's several people on the commodore forums 11 64 forums now this this game's bad it, it's not fun to play it's it's got awful control you get hit by random things all the time uh you know i was able to actually just button mash and just move myself forward and actually be able to survive for a bit so that's a plus but it's not fun to play it's got weird graphics even though it's impressive for the time it doesn't it doesn't hold up whatsoever this is a terrible game and one of the worst on the c64 library avoid oh man last and worse is the a team this is probably the worst licensed tie-in game I've played. Uh, essentially, you're taking out the heads of the A-Team in this like kind of Space Invaders ripoff. It is extremely difficult, not fun to play. Um, you die almost suddenly as you begin this game. Uh, this is just dreadful. I mean, this makes Bionic Granny look like a good game. I can't believe that uh, someone signed off on this. No sound effects or music while you play the game, just in the intro. Terrible, absolutely dreadful. Um, has to be, in my opinion, one of the worst games on the Commodore 64 library to be released commercially. Oh man, if you, if you truly want to torture yourself, play this game. <laughs> oh boy. Those were bad. And you're gonna have your picks. I mean, there's so many games that came out for the Commodore 64. I'm sure you're gonna have some and say, wait, I think this game is worse. I wanna hear about it. I wanna hear why it should be on this list and comment below as I am sure to do a follow-up video sometime and list some of the games that you mention in the comments below. Thank you so much. I'm having quite a bit of fun doing this series. It's been popular on my channel and it seems like there's just countless games out there that need to be discussed on how terrible they are and I'm happy to do that. And as always, thank you so much for the ongoing positive support. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, you may want to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading different content all the time. I'm doing uh, game reviews, I'm doing a bad game series, and there'll be a link below for those. 
as well as ranking videos, as well as other product reviews that I always do. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.